because of the situations I've, I've experienced, I've been to so many church, so I won't lie to you. Then the pastor tells me, of course, I'm, I'm calls Jesus and all of that. And at the end of the day, you find out that all these people calling Jesus, they are all diabolic. They would give you things that doesn't signify, uh, he doesn't have any affiliation with God. When he sings, is the best part for me. I'm a man, I'm a woman, I'm a man. This is actually my second time in Zion. Yes. The first time I heard about Zion is through my friend, Annie Sleek Beddings. So each time we are together, once it's 11 o'clock, she'll just, you know, shift from where we are and then start praying and all of that. And I, and I kept asking, who is this person that you're always praying with? And then one particular day, what really happened? Well, she brought um, oil. Oil. And she said, this is from Ebuka. And then she gave it to me. Because of the situations I've, I've experienced in the past, I've been to a lot of churches, I won't lie to you. At the end of the day, you find out that all these people calling Jesus, they're all diabolic. They would give you things that doesn't signify uh, he doesn't have any affiliation with God. And then they keep asking you for money and all of that. The field I'm in gets a lot of attacks. And then when I tell them this is what is happening, they'll say, don't worry, God is, uh, is working. And I, I don't get to see anything happening in my life. And so because of that, I, I totally don't want anything to do with any pastor. I said to myself, I would be in my house and I'll pray to my God. The day he answers me, fine. I think it's best that way. What actually got my attention was when my friend and sleep, as usual, started the prayer session. And then the man of God was singing. I couldn't ask him, which thing they happen? Now the same man be this. He said, Yes. I said, Wow, I love, I love his voice. And then I came closer. And then I saw Virgin Mary. I said, ah, is he a Catholic? She said, Yes. Said, oh, that got me interested the more. I said, Wow, he is. I think I should just, you know, listen with you. All of us, we are crying because the, that day was very, very intense. And after the prayers, it was as if all the problems that were worrying me had left me. I said, ah, ah. I was telling my friend there, I feel so light. I feel relieved. I think I really want to visit this church. So she now said, the next week was the man's birthday. I don't stay here in Lagos. I had to book my ticket ahead of time. And then I came. What I love most about Zion is when the man of God sings. <laughs> the angels always down everywhere. Everything is happening. When he sings is the best part for me. I don't know who talks God know the answer prayer. I don't know the person who. But the truth is, if you meet a man of God who is really with God, and then he gives you prayers. I've met with men of God. They don't give me prayers. They don't give me prayers. They just tell me, okay, don't worry. Take this water can. Take this, this. Drink it. Use this to wash your body. Use this, do this, do that. And they don't even tell me to abstain from some things, you know. But I got to him. When he was giving me prayers, he gave me Psalms. <laughs> I show you, you, go, you understand. This, this, he long. And when he gave me those Psalms, he told me, abstain from all of these things. That was when I knew that actually... It, I'm praying and I'm feeling it. Then when I met with the man of God face to face, he looked at me. And then he told me something that no one has ever told me. No man of God has ever told me. This is something that only myself and my mother know. Tears started gushing from my eyes unstoppable tears that was when i knew that yes you see this place i must get my blessing from here the man of god is a blessing to mankind his preaching is everything i accommodated every single event that happened on that day to so the extent that i've i even got loose of myself i was dancing jumping up and all of that i was so overwhelmed with everything My name is Destiny Etiko, aka Unlimited Worldwide Drama Doll of Nollywood. <laughs>